What's up everyone? It's your boy Norn Red 89 here bringing you another video today. It's finally time. Rick and Morty Season 5 Episode 2, our review for it. Obviously we're going to be talking some spoilers, so if you haven't seen it, go run out and watch it and then come back and check out this video so we can talk about it. Let's get down to this. Roll it. So Rick and Morty Season 5, Episode 2, kind of is like one of those episodes that plays on almost the same joke throughout the whole episode kind of thing, you know? And sometimes that could be like a little bit like tiresome and everything, but Rick and Morty, you know, they're like known for doing that kind of thing where they kind of run jokes into the ground a little bit, you know? <laughs> sometimes they do that. So this one we start off with the family or what we think is our normal C-137 Rick and Morty family. And they're like going through their normal day and everything. And then all of a sudden they just get attacked. And like they're getting attacked by kind of like these squid looking mutant alien monster things. Like they have like a ship. A very like techno-y design. And like they just like have squid arms and stuff like that. So they end up basically getting slaughtered. All this family. And then we end up finding out that that's just a decoy family. They were clones that Rick made. So just in case somebody attacked him because, you know, Rick's very popular and everybody in the galaxy hates him and wants something to do with him. <laughs> so it's really funny to see just like all these different like Rick and Morty decoy families. It just it kind of keeps playing that over and over where it's just like we see a family and we like watching them and we don't know if it's ours yet. And then psh, they get dispatched and then the next one again and then they get dispatched. So it has like just this kind of play on this like silly joke over and over. But then it also kind of feels like there's a twist in the middle of the episode where we find out that the squid people and the alien ships that have been hunting them are actually Rick and Morty families that found out they were decoys and are now systematically going out to wipe out the other decoys. So it kind of has like a play on like that movie, The One. I don't know if you've seen that Jet Li movie, The One. It's kind of like that, you know, or like Highlander type rules <laughs> in the show. So it's got a, like a lot of plays on different sci-fi shows. And it uses that kind of twist thing, almost like M. Night Shyamalan, you know what I mean? Like that little twist in the middle, you know, it could land or it couldn't land, but they, they don't really care. You know, the writers want to throw it in there. <clears throat> but I definitely did have a better time with the first episode. This isn't a bad episode, you know, but for me, like I would have much rather like another episode of Interdimensional Cable. Like I'm down for those episodes or Morty's mind benders, like you know what I mean? Something like that. I would have been down for like another episode of that, you know, but it's kinda cool to find out that Rick has these plans and all these decoy families, but then the decoys actually know their decoys and they start making more, so it's just like it becomes kind of wild and there's just tons and tons of these families and then we have kind of like a resistance group that was they call themselves the decoys, and then there's the other group that wants to annihilate all the others, so it's got like a lot of different sci-fi references to old movies and old TV shows and stuff and the decoys that are like kind of the good resistance people. They're like Rick and Morty's that like, you know, the other ones became lazy and they made like puppet versions or like sewn up like, you know, doll versions of the Rick and Morty family. So it's really funny. Like they got little cameos from different kind of characters and families that they made and all that kind of stuff. But as I said, you know, I would have much rather like another episode of Interdimensional Cable. Like those ones really grabbed me. I love those episodes. And then we have we get to the ending scene and it's like the ending sequence where we think it's our family and all that kind of stuff. It's finally the Rick and Morty family. They stay at this house and they hunker down and they like slaughter all the other ones. It's like this massive fight. And then all of a sudden I think it's like, oh man, I can't remember his name, but he's like the like banana looking dude. But in this dimension, he looks a little different. The decoy family. I, Mr. Always wants to be hunted. Yes. He's got like a big body with like a little target look weird suit and like randomly comes in and just caps the Rick and Morty family shoots them all so it's like and then you know stuff like that those random characters that just you see for a minute you see him like earlier in the episode for like maybe 10 seconds and <clears throat> and then like he comes in at the end and slaughters the family so it's like ah uh, that stuff it does okay for me but it doesn't always land but the end credit sequence really did nail it for me when we get to see um, he's like the marionette Jerry and he wants to swim so he like in his wood so he lathers himself up with that special I forgot what that stuff's called but so he can go in the water and he goes in the water and it's just funny like a, a group family of beavers like catch him hollow him out and put their babies in him and just Jerry's reaction is epic it's, it's just so hilarious I loved it 
So that ending credit sequence definitely did nail it for me. Like that, I actually laughed more at that ending credit sequence than I did the whole episode that I was watching for episode two. But like I said, it's still not a bad episode or anything like that. I would probably give episode two a seven out of ten. The first one I definitely had a lot more fun with. But eager to see what episode three has in store with us, store for us. I can't wait to find out. I hope we've got like confirmation, kind of, that we might be seeing a character from a previous season come back. I'm hoping it's Scary Terry. That'd be amazing. Amazing. <laughs> so like the, just like those kind of characters I hope return there's some that are just really classic amazing characters so thanks for sticking around with me guys if you want to check out my other one I'll have an episode one the review I already did that one I have a card in the top corner so you could click on that if you want to see that and stick to the channel like and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the videos I post out and kick, a, kick it along with us for this journey as we watch Rick and Morty season five thanks for hanging out with me y'all have a safe and happy day. Peace out.